don't know if y'all been following what's going on out in Ferguson, uh, Missouri. Uh, Chief, uh, Police Chief Jackson of Ferguson uh, made a, an apology last week uh, outlining that uh, he thought it was uh, that they made a mistake by allowing Michael Brown's body to lie out in the street for four hours while the investigation was had. Uh, and that somehow or another, if he impeded the rights of people to uh, protest peacefully out in Ferguson during the height of the, uh, uh, the matter, uh, and somehow or another those rights were not protected by him, he apologized for that. Uh, and, and a few other uh, things that he said, but I thought he was wrong, did wrong on all those issues. Uh, first of all, maybe they could have covered the body up, maybe they could have put a screen around the body, that might have been more... Uh, humane, but he couldn't move the body. You can't move a body until you gather all the evidence. We all know that. So uh, maybe he should apologize and say we should have put something around it. But that having been said, I don't think that was necessary. One of the difficult things about, about life on planet Earth is just one of those difficult things that you're just not going to be able to be perfect at. Uh, you know, what I think, who I think should apologize, I think the rioters and the rabble rousers and the thieves and the hoodlums and the hoodlums and the interlopers that came to Ferguson to loot and to stir up trouble, they should have apologized to the peaceful protest. That's what I think. What I think is always right. No, they should have apologized to the people who came to peacefully protest because they're the ones that brought out the worst of everybody. And we know it. So I think what Chief Jackson did was dead wrong, everybody. I just think he should have never done it. And now, the, 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 uh, just a handful of people, not many, but a handful of, they are taunting the police every night out there. There's something going on. Taunting the police. The police are now trying to rep represent restraint or whatever that means, if there is a meaning to it in such circumstances. But, you know, the grand jury is going to be back pretty soon. I suspect they're going to be back in another a few days. And they're going to report that Darren Wilson, the police officer, did no wrong. Here, I, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not an apologist for the police department. I, I have my troubles with them. They killed Eric Garner here in New York City. I know that they did. They blew Amadou Diallo away with 41 shots. I know that. Uh, Amadou and uh, Abner Louima, they rammed him with a plunger, with a toilet plunger. They did the police officers, they did that. Uh, but I think that all things being said, it's hard to, to convict a police officer when they put so much on the line every day. You know, they, they put their lives on the line every day. Do they make mistakes? Are they police officers that are idiots? Yeah, absolutely. Are uh, the police officers that eat donuts? At least Coach Dave said that there are big ones, too. But, but on balance, however, they put their lives on the line every day. You say, well, that's what their job, that's what they're called. Yeah, they do. And so as a result of that, it's going to be very difficult to convict them of, uh, of, of Darren Wilson of anything wrong. I mean, even though the Rodney King thing was pretty obvious, they were whipping Rodney King's butt, but Rodney kept trying to get up. You know, and they didn't know if he got up what he was going to do. I mean, come on. You, somebody beating you over the head, five or six guys beating you with a baton, and you keep trying to get up. You ought to just, you ought to lay dead, play possum, do something. Say uncle, and maybe they'll stop. But if you keep trying to get up, they think, well, if you get up, you're going to be trouble. So they're trying to keep you down there. That's what I thought with the Rodney King thing. Maybe you saw something different. So, Bessie, man, that's why we don't like you. You ain't never for the black man. You always against the homeboy. You, you ain't never for the black man. You, 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 you even walk for our president. You talked about his mama. You ain't no been to talk about that man mama like that. That man mama dead. You ain't even been to talk about that man mama. You, you, you ain't never for the black man. Well, okay, all right, so say it. But let's get back to Ferguson, Missouri, all right? I think Chief Jackson was wrong. And, you know, and when they come back with a verdict, uh, when they, when the, you know, the, the uh, grand jury come back and said he, Darren Wilson did nothing wrong, all hell's going to break loose all over Ferguson and every place else, for that matter. So I think that his apologizing was, was just a wrong thing to do. And it's going to put up m most of our lives in jeopardy. 
But anyway, I've got Ferguson Watch now waiting for the jury to come back with their verdict. And you've heard the first installment of Ferguson Watch, Ferguson, Missouri Watch.